everyone. Hi. Just give me a sec. Hey, hi, everyone. Um, <clears throat> we're just waiting for the rest to join. Let me share the correct screen. Okay, cool. Can you guys let me know in the chat box if you can hear me and if you can see my screen clearly? The screen should say the Ultimate Forex Trading Masterclass Tick Mail 2023. Hi, Shirish. Hi, Farhan. Hi. You guys can reply me in both. Hi, Arian. Hi, Kasser. Hi, Johan. Hi, Esnan. Okay, you can, you guys can, re oh, sorry, actually. You guys can reply me either in the Q&A box or the chat box. I can see both of it. Um, okay. In the meantime, hi, Yunus. Hi, everyone. Can you guys let me know? Hi, Sam. Can you guys? Hi, Rolando. I almost said Ronaldo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> can you guys let me know in the chat box where you guys are from? Because some of your names here are new to me. I know some of you are from Singapore, some of you are from um, <clears throat> Malaysia, some of you from Philippines, South Africa, UAE. The last time we had Australia, Germany. Oh, yes, yeah, South Africa. <laughs> the rest of you, Bangladesh, hi. Are you guys new to this webinar? Because I don't remember your names. Um, I do this for you guys every week. And I think some of your names are still a bit from like not familiar. I'm not familiar to some of your names. Okay, nice. Yeah, yes, first time. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so Shirish is new here. Johan is new here. The rest of you, I do see some familiar names, of course. Um, <clears throat> Joash, Muhammad. Richard. Uh, SK Wu, I definitely seen your name here before. The rest of you. Definitely new. Okay, cool. So in the meantime, We'll just wait for the rest to join. I still see the attendance list um, moving. Hi, Derek from Singapore, new to this. We're gonna start in like a minute because I still see the attendance list moving, right? So that um, I don't want to start without like, I want majority of you to have joined.
Okay, cool. Okay, I think most of you would have joined and settled in because I don't see the attendance is moving anymore. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to today's webinar brought to you by TickMill. Uh, we're doing an Ultimate Forex Trading Masterclass. This for the year 2023. We've been doing this for a while for you guys now. And um, obviously, I think a lot of you do enjoy this because I do see a lot of regular uh, joiners. Um, we do this for you guys every Monday for now. If you want higher frequency, you can always ask take me to increase the frequency, but for now it's just once a week. So just a disclaimer before we start anything, anything I sure if you guys in this webinar should not be construed as trading advice or financial advice or any kind of like investment advice, okay? Please take this as educational. This is an educational webinar, okay? Uh, just a risk warning, trading CFDs and uh, Forex or CFDs, especially if you are using leverage, it's very, very, very risky, okay? So please, please do be careful, okay? Uh, whether you are new to trading or you have been trading for a long time, uh, this, can affect, this can affect anyone, okay? So I also know people have been trading for a long, long time. They, they just suddenly just stop being profitable, and it is risky. So risk to reward applies to everyone, whether you are new to trading or not. Okay, so please be careful. Okay, um, other than that, today's session will be a live trading session. Basically, we're going to go into the charts. Uh, I'll explain to, about that a little bit more. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Cassandra. You guys can call me Cass. I am based in Singapore. Okay, um, I am an analyst, uh, financial analyst investment analyst and a prop trader here at Everest Fraudron Group, okay? For those who don't know about us, basically what we do is a lot of research and back testing, okay? So we're the best uh, finalists for the best Forex and equity research for 2019, 2020, and 2021. Uh, 2022 is not out yet. That's why we, we haven't posted it here. But yes, we basically specialize in research and um forecasting where the markets are going. And then with this information, we usually advise banks, brokerages, hedge funds, financial institutions, and you guys on this webinar where, where we think the markets are moving. Okay, so other than that, I am a full-time prop trader. Uh, I trade for a few prop firms. For those who don't know how this prop trading works, is that you first need to take a test before you can even get funded. Okay, you take a test, in that test, uh, not one test, sorry, couple of tests, okay? You pass this couple of tests and then you'll get funded. To pass this test, um, it's not that easy. The passing rate is less than 2%. If I'm not mistaken, it's only 1.5% passing rate. So I've passed this test multiple, multiple times already and I'm funded multiple times already, okay? So how I did this is by using technical analysis. Therefore, if you guys do have any questions regarding technical analysis, please ask me in the chat box because the whole point of Take Mill doing this webinar for you guys, right, is that we want to put you guys first. We want to help you grow in your trading. So if you're not asking the questions, like uh, you're not asking because you're shy or you think it's a silly question, then I cannot really help you uh, in your week areas okay but only please only ask me in technical analysis because I only specialize in technical analysis if you ask me fundamental analysis which is like company data and um, company profits and the economy and all that I cannot really help you I don't really specialize in that so just ask me technical analysis and I will try to help you to the best of my ability okay and another reminder I do remind you guys this every week because every week we are one week closer I am only um, I'm currently pregnant, so I'm only going to do this webinars with you guys for like maybe two or three more months. Therefore, uh, if you really want to pick my brain, you got the next two to three more months to ask me whatever questions you want to ask me about. Oh yeah, see, I've got a question coming, question coming in already, which is good. I like when questions are coming in. That means you guys are asking and we can all grow together. Okay, so I've only got two to three more months with you guys before I go on, uh, I become full-time mom, okay? Uh, yes, and because of trading, I am allowed to be a full-time mom because trading has enabled me certain lifestyles that I think that 
a lot of people are not allowed to have. Okay, so this is a very good skill to learn. Okay, this is a very good skill to learn. So I've got two to three more months with you guys. Please ask me as much questions as you can in the next two to three more months because every trader have a different style of trading. Maybe my style of trading may help you elevate to the next level in trading because after this, it will be a different speaker already and it will be a different style of trading. Okay, so that's that. Um, how long have you been trading? I've been trading for about... I would say five years, okay? The first three years, I was not profitable, okay? Only the last two years, I became profitable. I think closer to COVID time when I told myself, okay, enough is enough. I really need to like, I really need to see what I'm doing wrong and then I need to like change my ways and my methods and then I started becoming very profitable, okay? So one thing that really helped me was actually trading psychology and risk to reward management, Okay, so that's one. Hey, Sarah, do you have any indicators? Only pure price action trading. I don't do pure price action trading. I use a lot of technical analysis. So I use a lot of indicators. Okay, not a lot, but four of it. I'll go into detail in a bit. Okay, we're going to move on. The indicators that I usually use are uh, Ichimoku, RSI, Stochastics, DMI, sometimes Berlinger Band, don't really use it. I feel like it's a very basic and generic indicator. Uh, sometimes the Donchan Channel, sometimes Moving Average. Okay, but my go-to is definitely RSI, Stochastics, Ichimoku, and DMI. Okay, so agenda for today. Agenda for today, we are going to do three pairs. The first pair usually we do is... Okay, the aim is to do three pairs, okay? But because today there's so many new joiners here, I don't know if you guys are new to trading or you've been trading for a long time, but for the sake of the new people here, I will go slow. So if I'm going slow, there is a chance that I might only cover two pairs today rather than three, okay? So the three pairs that I usually cover is number one, commodities. So commodity, I always choose XAU USD. Yep, we definitely have new people here. Okay, so Sam is new in trading. Um, H. Liu is also new and eager to learn. So please go slow. So yes, I will go slow for the benefit of everyone. Okay, so the first one I will go is gold, which is XAUSD. Commodities, there's a lot. There's like oil, there's other things as well. But I always go gold. Why? Because I specialize in gold. So I am a gold trader. 95% of all my trades are gold. Okay, second one, I'll do one cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency, we can do Ethereum. Why? Because I also specialize in uh, Ethereum. I don't trade Ethereum, but I chart Ethereum a lot. Why? Because I buy and hold Ethereum. Okay, so I am a positions trader when it comes to Ethereum. So therefore, we always go for gold and then Ethereum. If you guys want Bitcoin, you can request in the chat box. Of course, I will just go with the flow if majority wins, obviously. And the third one will be Forex. If we have time, we can get Forex. So Forex can be anything. This is, I leave it up to you guys. You guys want GBP, USD, USD, CAD, USD, JPY, or you want a non-USD pair or AUD, JPY, AUD, GBP, whatever it is, you guys just request in the chat box. If we have time, we go through it. If we don't have time, then that's totally fine because the whole point today is to focus on technical analysis and finding a trade. Okay, so we will be focusing on technical analysis and then we'll be looking for a setup. So you Using technical analysis, I will show you on a daily basis how I manage to find my trades, okay? Okay, cool. Uh, that's all, folks. Any questions regarding this, uh, do not hesitate to just ask me, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to exit and we are going to go straight into trading view. Okay, cool. Sorry, I always have to check because there are times where I talk for 15 minutes and nobody bothers to tell me that my screen is black. So I've learned to check from now on. So can you guys see my background? It should I should be on tickmail.com. Can you guys see tickmail.com? And you guys can still hear me. Okay, cool. Thank you, Johan. Uh, what time frames do you mostly trade on? I mostly trade on the four hours. That is my go-to. 
Okay, thank you, Samuel. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go. Okay, so before we even go into the live trading part, I want to introduce something to you guys. It's called the Techno Traders Club. This is for people who are like super into trading. As long as you, thank you, Rolando. As long as you have a live account with Techmill, you are able to join this Techmill Traders Club for free. Okay, so how do you join Techmill Traders Club? You just uh, you go to tickmill.com, you go to tickmill tools slash trader club, and then there's all the information here. This tickmill trader club is super, super cool. Okay, this is what it will look like once you have an account. Okay, this is what the traders club look like. You go in, you, I can't see your screen. You're, okay, so um, I've got three people telling me my screen is okay, and then Shirish can't see my screen. So is this just Shirish or is this everyone? Can we do analysis on Nasdaq? Yes, we can. Then I'll just skip. Um, maybe I'll skip Ethereum for today. Zoom is okay. Okay, Shirish, I think it's okay. Now you can see. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is the Tecmo Traders Club. What you do is you go to tradersclub.tickmail.com slash app. Okay, then you create an account with, as long as you have a live trading account with Tickmail, you are allowed to create this account for free. Once you create this account, you have access to very cool stuff. So on a daily basis, our analysts and our traders will update, so gold news. So we'll update on gold news, we'll update on oil news, on USD news, EUR news, okay? This will help you. On top of that, we will also do analysis on each a particular pair or anything, okay? So USD JPY, for example, Okay, USD JPY, for example. Okay, you can view analysis. Mm, it's loading. I don't know, is it because I have too many things running in the background? It's usually very soon. Hi, Jamilu. Nice seeing you here. Zoom is okay. Cool. Um, writing is too small. I can't go any bigger, though, to be honest. This is the fullest screen. This is the biggest screen. I don't know how to um, increase. If I zoom in, I, I, actually, I don't even know how to zoom in. Okay, anyways, you guys try it out on your own. It's still loading. So... Once you create an account, you have access to all the traders' um, analysis. They'll tell you, okay, if price breaks this support here, you can see price drop down. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. When you guys are free, you guys can go and sign up an account and then you can explore the, the place. Oh, hello, I'm just joining. Hi, hello, hello. Hi, everyone who just joined. Okay, uh, I see attendance is like much higher than last week. Okay, I am currently on trading view right now. Okay. I'm currently on trading view. I am going to start with XAUUSD and then we're going to do an analysis. Okay, it looks like XAUUSD is still moving sideways. Okay, the last time I took you guys, I don't, actually I don't know the last time I took you guys if XAUUSD was still moving sideways or not. But uh, I've been noticing XAUUSD since last week and it has been moving sideways. Sideways market means that unfortunately you just have to sit around and wait, okay, until price makes a decision. Okay, so whenever I see a sideways market, the first thing I want to do is highlight a few things. Okay, I am going to highlight that price is moving in this triangle. Okay, it's not very obvious on the daily time frame, obviously. Okay, if we go down to the four hours, I'm going to go on to the four hours and I'm going to show you that price is moving. Uh, in a triangle, okay? So whenever you spot that price is moving in a triangle, the problem is that it means that price is doing kind of like a consolidation within this triangle, okay? And usually the rule for a triangle is that it usually reaches one third of the triangle, okay? The first one third, the, the front part of the triangle, when it reaches the front part, it will either decide whether it wants to break up or it wants to break down of the triangle, okay? Good morning. I have, I was having trouble with the audio, no fault of yours. Can I get the recording, please? Okay, you guys have to help me out in the chat box. 
Uh, do you guys know where this recording goes to? Does it go to YouTube? Because, <laughs> sorry, I know this is being recorded because every time I start the webinar, it says uh, recording in progress, okay? But I'm just not very sure where it's going to afterwards. If I'm not mistaken, it goes to Take Mail's YouTube page. If you can't find it there, Trudy, the other um, option you have is to email Take Mail and ask them for the recording. Because, um, yeah, that, that's a totally different, someone else handles the recording after, after this webinar, someone else takes over and handles the recording. So if anyone knows, if you've seen this on TickMail YouTube before, let me know. If not, then please email, um, get in touch with TickMail uh, customer service or their help there, or whatever, and they will help you. Okay, thank you, no worries. Okay, cool. So with goal, it usually consolidates within a triangle until it reaches the one third part of the triangle and then it wants to decide whether it wants to break up or break break up or break down. Unfortunately, we just so happen to be we're just so happen to be catching price in the triangle. I don't like triangles. Why? Because that means that there's no trade. Okay, you cannot go in for a buy or sell until it breaks the triangle. Okay, at least that is my rule. There's many, many styles of trading, but my style of trading is that I don't trade until it breaks the triangle because the break of the triangle is confirmation to me that price is either going up or down. Okay, it is confirmation to me that price is either going up or down. So at this current point of time, I would say goal is still deciding whether it wants to go up or down. Um, honestly, if you ask me, just give me a sec. Okay, cool. I think most likely it's gonna break up, but I cannot confirm until it actually breaks up. Okay, so my biasness is that it's gonna break up, but again, we do not enter triangle trades or I do not enter triangle trades until uh, it happens. Hi, I'm from Malaysia. We can't get welcome bonus. Can't arrange the um can't arrange book up. Hey uh Anisur or Raman. Um think you're having problems with your welcome bonus. So you can get in touch with Take Mail as well. So please just go. Please just email them. Maybe maybe we can come and get the email together. Let's go get the email together. So in case you guys have problems. Okay, I'm sure they have like a uh, contact us, about us. Yeah, just go to about us and you will see support, contact us. And then you can just let them know the issues that you're facing. Oh, thank you, Paul. Okay, so Paul uh, just sent send me the, I'm going to type this in the chat box. So uh, Trudy, Paul just sent me a link. Okay, so here it is. You can just let TickMail know whatever issues you guys are having. Um, sorry, I cannot really help you. My job is to do this webinars for you guys one hour a week. Other than that, I don't really know all the other technical stuff of TickMail. Right, because uh, Techno invited us to do this webinars for you guys. But yes, definitely get in touch with Techno if you are having problems. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, thank you, Paul, for sending me the YouTube link. I've dropped the YouTube link for Trudy. Uh, the recording should be in the YouTube link. Okay, other than that, um, I don't think there's much for goal. I do have a request by Raf. Raphael, Raphael, okay, for NASDAQ. Okay, Raphael, let me tell you something. I can do the analysis for NASDAQ for you. Okay, we can all do the, I can look at NASDAQ, right? But you need to remember NASDAQ is an index. Okay, so NASDAQ is the 100, it is the 100 top tech companies in the US. Okay, one thing about tech, index that I do not like, it's that it is very, it can be affected by news. Okay, so fundamental analysis. Can we have the link for this webinar? 
think I posted the, the link as in the YouTube link. I posted the link for the recording where they're gonna post the recording. So I don't know if you guys can see, um, Paul shared it with me and I'm sharing it with you guys. I think Paul shared in the Q&A chat, so you guys can't really see, but I'm sharing it in the chat box. This is for everyone's benefit. Let me know if you guys can see it or not. Okay, so one thing about NASDAQ or index I don't like is because it's based on companies, right? So companies, there's a lot of other factors, okay? Bruno, yeah. Do you mean the Tecno YouTube link? Yep, I just shared the Tecno YouTube link. Okay, one thing about companies that I don't like is that it is fundamentally affected. So fundamental analysis do play a part because it is 100 of the top tech companies. So you know, when companies are involved, there's other things involved like um, uh, company profits and like profit sharing and like blah, 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 their stocks and all that thing. Okay, there's a lot of like, like, financial stuff and economic stuff behind analyzing fundamental analysis. Therefore, because I specialize in technical analysis, I usually stick with um, charts that are heavy on technical analysis. So charts are heavy, I usually think like Forex, things like cryptocurrency, things like um, gold. I would say gold is very technical analysis heavy, okay? But other than that, because you already requested, I'm, I'm still gonna do the analysis for you. Just remember, after I do this analysis for you, please take note that fund NASDAQ also is very affected by fundamental analysis. So also take note of fundamental analysis, not just technical analysis, okay? So before I ever do an analysis, I always try to find trends. So in this case, I do see price moving in an uptrend parallel channel. Thanks, Jamilu. I'll look at those in a while. So after this, we can look at uh, Jamilu requested for USD, JPY, and GBP, USD. Okay, so we're going to look at those pairs in a while. In the meantime, let's just quickly do an analysis for NASDAQ. Okay, because we only have half an hour left, I can do 10 minutes per chart. Okay, uh, for those who are new and want me to go slow, this we're going very slow already. Okay, so why I think it's on an uptrend because it's making higher highs. This is a very generic and simple rule, although the channel didn't fit very well just now. Okay, Gener generic simple rule is that price is making higher highs. Okay, so therefore we expect price to continue making higher highs um, and we we expect price to continue moving up. So a channel, why this was not valid is because a channel requires two touches at the bottom, which is the support and two touches at the top, okay? But in this case, there's only two touches at the bottom and one touch at the top, but this part didn't really touch. So we cannot really consider this a valid channel. Therefore, we're not gonna use this as a guideline or reference to making our decisions in the chart, okay? So let me just get rid of this. Okay, so the first thing first, I'm going to go through with you. You need to make sure, okay, this is my trading style, okay? There's hundreds of trading styles out there. I'm only sharing my trading style with you guys, okay? So the first thing that I want to do when I'm trading is number one, look for trend. So you need to answer a few questions and then you can make some profits in trading. If you can successfully answer these questions in the most accurate possible way, accurately, as accurately as you can, you are going to get some profits in trading. The first question you want to ask, is price going up or down? We have established that price is going up, right? We have established that price is going up, okay? Number two, you want to ask yourself, if price is going up, I that means I'm going in for a buy, right? Because if price is going up, that means the momentum is pushing it up and therefore I want to use the momentum to push me to my take profit area. Okay, so therefore, if price is going up, I'm going in for a buy. If I am going in for a buy, my next question is, where do I get in for the buy? Where do I get in for a buy? Where do I get out? And where is my stop loss? Okay, where do I get in for the buy? Where do I get out? When I'm in for the buy, where do I get out? And where is my stop loss? The stop loss meaning that if I am wrong, if my buy is wrong, turns out it was a sell after all, turns out that the momentum that I was seeing is not the correct momentum after all, 
where do I get kicked out of this trade admitting that I am wrong? Okay, so these are three things you need to identify. So how do you identify entry, stop loss, take profit? You need to identify support and resistance. Okay, support and resistance is super easy to identify. You just need to identify swing high, swing low, closest to current price. This is current price right here. The last candle is current price. This is your swing high and this is your swing low. I think this chart is not moving. We should not be using this chart because this is not a live chart. Um, I don't really trade NASDAQ. So can someone tell me which chart is a 24 hour chart for NASDAQ? Is there a particular chart that you use, Raphael? NAS 100, thanks. Thanks, Johan. Okay, cool. This is a live chart. That one just now, it was not a live chart. Not a live chart meaning that when the market is closed, if it's not 9.30 p.m. New York time, the market is closed and the chart is not moving. So this is still moving. This is still moving whether or not the market is closed because um, requirement for your stop loss. Yep, I'm getting there. Uh, thank you, Shirish. Thank you, Johan. Okay, cool. Okay, so we've identified prices going up. Let's identify support resistance. Got 30 minutes. I can do three charts. Okay. After this, we're gonna after this next deck, we're gonna look at Jamilu's request of USD JPY and GBP USD. I guess today there's no XAO USD because price is consolidating in the triangle. There's no Ethereum because you guys already requested other stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna identify support resistance. Okay, this is the support that I've identified identified why am I using this support of all places why am I using this support okay number one support resistance should always be below and above your current price which is closest to your price so that is your support this is going to be the resistance that I'm going to use I'm going to change this name to resistance so that we don't get confused I'm going to change this to support if you guys are new and you you right click does the breakout depend on the daily or the four hour time frame on go? Uh, the four hour because we spotted it on the four hours. So we're gonna continue using the four hours as the reference. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use this as a support. Why? For those who are new, if you right click and you click press template, it's not going to be there. Mine has support resistance because the last time when I did this, I put this, you can right click, put settings, for example, green line, okay? Oops, you right click, go to template, save as green line. The next time you right click and you go to your template, you will see green line in your saved, your saved template, okay? But in this case, if you don't have it, don't be confused because I know some of you after this, you're gonna try to do charting yourself and then you're gonna wonder why there were some things I was using that you can't seem to find access to. Okay, so that's how you use it. I think I think we should actually one of our webinars should definitely be learning, teaching you guys how to use Trading View because for beginners, actually Trading View is not that easy to use. Okay, so um, I identified that price is going up. I identified I de I've identified that I want to get in for a buy. I've identified my support, my resistance. So based on that rule that I was talking about, ideally, I would expect price to pull back to this area and then we get in here for the buy, right? Okay. So ideally, I want to identify support resistance and those support resistance are going to end up becoming my buy entry, my, my entry, my stop loss, my take profit. So in this case, just a very generic look. I'm not even... Um, combining this with other things yet, but I think most likely this is the buy entry for now, okay? I think price is gonna pull back to this area, which is 12889.2, and then from here you can enter a buy, a very nice buy to the next resistance area, okay? That's ideally the plan for now, okay? But this is on a daily time frame. The problem is, if we are doing our analysis on a daily time frame, by the time price gets to this support area, it's going to be, maybe Friday, 
okay? Because every candlestick that you see here represents one day because we're on the daily time frame. We do not want such a long trade because I am a day trader. I think majority of you here are either day traders or scalpers. Uh, this is more for swing traders, okay? Swing traders, that means you don't really spend a lot of time on the chart. You come once in a while to look for trade, okay? So therefore, we are now going to go down to the smaller time frame, hoping to find a closer entry, take profit and stop loss. Okay, again, why did I choose this area as my support? Uh, I'm just gonna quickly explain for the benefit of those who are new here, because I can see price came here one time, rejected this, came here two times, rejected it, came here three times, rejected it, came here four times, rejected it, kind of came here the fifth time and rejected it, meaning that this support area is a key level. Every time price comes to this area, it is having a hard time breaking this area. Every time it comes here, it's like, oh, it looks like I'm having a hard time breaking this area and therefore I have to turn back. Therefore, the next time price comes to this area, again, I expect price to have a hard time breaking it and turning back and therefore here you are going to enter for your buy okay that is ideally what uh, we want to happen okay this is how you use technical analysis to pinpoint where you think price is going to reverse to okay so i'm going to go to the four hours time frame to see if there's a, any closer entry that means i'm looking for a closer support area okay honestly i don't see one the only one is unfortunately this support area. Therefore, this is the only area I'm going to consider getting in for a buy. Yes, you can get in here for the buy right now. Because I mean, I mean, some of you might be thinking, if price is going up anyways, why can't I just get in here for the buy right now? Okay, this is one rule I want you guys to digest and stay with you for as long as you are trading, okay? It doesn't have to be trading. It can be anything you do in life, okay? So other than trading, I'm also a business owner. I'm also, uh, I also do property investment, okay? So this is very important. Your profit depends on where you get in, okay? It applies to anything you are doing in life in terms of investment, okay? I'll give you an example. Let's say you are doing retail. You're selling a bag, for example. You want to sell the bag for $100. So the thing that is important to you is your cost price. The lower your cost price, the more profit you make, right? That's a very simple rule. It's the same as property. If you buy a property at $100,000, you sell it at $500,000, you make $400,000. But if you bought that property late, let's say you bought it when it was the peak of the market, you bought it at $400,000 and you sell it at $500,000, you only make $100,000. So your entry decides a lot on how much you win. Okay, the win should be decided at entry you should already be winning an entry. Therefore, I never get in, although I know prices, I am very uh, confident that price is going up. Why do I not get in now for the buy? It's because I want price to pull back to a better price and then I get in here for the buy at the better price and then I make more profit, okay? This is one rule that should stick with you no matter if you're doing business, if you're doing property, if you're doing trading, whatever it is you are doing, your win, you should be winning at your entry. Okay, so therefore, we are going to wait for price to pull back to this area, wait for price to give us a signal or confirmation, and then here we get in for the buy. What is the signal of the confirmation that we're waiting for? We are waiting for a reversal pattern candlesticks. I won't have time to explain to you guys Just type in Google. Okay, reversal pattern candlestick. Go to the image, download an image. Okay, and then refer to the image. When you see a reversal pattern candlestick, that is the chart's way of telling you, hey, I am going to reverse now. Okay, I'm having a hard time breaking this support area. 
breaking meaning I can't go any lower anymore. So therefore, from here, I have no choice but to reverse. When it reverses, you get in there for the buy. Okay, so this is ideally the plan for now. The second thing I want to do, I want to pull out my indicators to confirm, to confirm my trade. Okay, uh, before I do that, I want to use Fibonacci. Not really loving this, to be honest. Okay, not really loving this, but let's try anyways. Okay, cool. For those who don't understand Fibonacci, I can't teach you this either today because it's a very heavy topic. Okay, uh, we will definitely have a webinar on Fibonacci. Okay, but this is a very top, heavy topic. Okay, the area that I think price is going to reverse from is this area, okay? This area that I highlighted, okay? Remember why? Because support resistance is never one price, okay? It is not one price. It is not one, two, eight, nine, three. It is always a zone, okay? So you choose that zone as your entry. Somewhere along, along this zone, my forecast or expectation is price is going to reverse. Therefore, our entry is somewhere here. The lower your entry, the better, okay? Remember, winning should be when you get in. You should win when you get in. If you get in at a good price, you are already winning. Your chances of winning is already very high compared to people who got in at a bad price, okay? So take profit. Um, so if right now, let's say right now price pulls back, Okay, your take profit can be back at this swing high right here. Okay, this can be your take profit. Okay, or this far one can be your take profit. Okay, so this is more for uh, swing traders. You have to take note that by the time price reaches this take profit up here, it could have taken days, maybe weeks to get here because we were looking at it on the week daily time frame. Okay, so if you want it to be done and over it within a day or maybe two days max, your take profit should be here. Okay, this is a this is a day trader take profit. Okay, if we want a scalping take profit, we need to go down to the smaller time frame. But today we're just gonna stick with four hours, and then we're gonna go to the next chart after this. Okay, so this is what I think is gonna happen. Our stop loss because this zone, I expect price to reverse somewhere around this zone. I don't expect price to go anywhere below this zone. Therefore, I'm gonna put my stop loss right below this zone. Okay, I am going to put my stop loss right below this zone. Is everyone still following? Do you guys need me to repeat anything? Don't worry, we don't have to look at three charts today. We can just look at two. The most importantly, most importantly is you guys understand because look, we can look at 10 charts today, but if you don't understand what I'm doing, next time without, without the help of another trader, you will not be able to find profitable trades. The whole point about trading, right? The thing about trading is I need to let you know it is a one-man game, okay? This is a solo game. This is not a team effort, okay? So you, if you want to be profitable in trading, you need to master this skill, okay? You need to master this skill on your own and you need to be able to digest the information that is being given to you, okay? So what was my other traps to hit the stop loss? Um, I do... Uh, agree with you, uh, Nidal. They are smart money traps. There will be traps where they hunt your stop loss. So honestly, until today, I have a hard time finding a solution to that. The only solution I can give you is that to use a wider stop loss, okay? To use a wider small stop loss to avoid those traps, okay? But um, other than that, I usually put a healthy enough gap to avoid those smart money traps, okay? So like a healthy, like you don't put your stop loss just like on top of the zone, like just under the zone. Like you give it a little bit of breathing space and that breathing space hopefully is enough for you to avoid the trap, the smart money trap, okay? Usually I find, okay, I'm not very sure about NASDAQ. Remember I was telling you guys I don't really trade NASDAQ, so I don't know the characteristics of NASDAQ on the back of my mind, okay? But for XAU USD, I know usually five points is a good range for a stop loss. 
Where is smart money direction? You can know where the smart money direction. Uh, yeah. So Nidal is saying volume indicator helps. You can know where the smart money direction is. Okay, I totally get what you're saying. Okay, so when price gets here, and let's say you were already in the trade, to avoid getting stopped out or wicked out, fake like a fake out, okay, to avoid a fake out, you can use indicators such as the volume to see your chances of getting wicked out. So that will help you either you can move your stop loss or you can, I don't really recommend moving stop losses to be honest, because once you decide where your stop loss is, you decide your lot size. Right, so that will give you a rough idea where price is going. Okay, so another thing that's super important to me is risk reward. That's why I say I don't really recommend moving my stop loss once I'm already in a trade because risk to reward is a major part of me growing my account. So I became, I used to be not a profitable trader. I became very, very profitable after I started managing my risk to reward. Okay, so let's say we enter here at the best area possible. Okay, um, stop loss is here, take profit is here. This will be a 2.48 trade, okay? One to 2.48, one to 2.48 means if you have a $100,000 account, if price hits your stop loss, you lose 1%. But if price hits your take profit, you make 2.48%, okay? So risk to work is very important. It is, it's the same. I mean, like, because I do so many other things as well, and whenever I'm thinking of trading, I feel like it's the same for everything else. Let's say you are in retail. Okay, I am in retail myself in real life. Okay, that's why I always keep using retail. You're in retail, you sell a bag. Okay, you sell a bag for $100. If you got, you bought, the cost of your bag is $50. You sell it at 100, your profit will be one to one. So you spend $50 to make $50. Okay, but if your cost of your bag was 25 Okay, that means you make one to three. Okay, one to three, meaning if you don't sell a bag, you don't sell the bag, you lose $25. If you sell the bag, you make $75. Okay, so that's a one to three kind of risk to reward. I think that's a great risk to reward. Okay, so same as trading, you want to get in on very good risk to reward because the win should be at entry. Okay. Um, do you have a telegram? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna leave my telegram here. I am, as I said, I am managing quite a bit of things now, but when I when I give birth, I will be stepping back a little bit from my businesses and I'll be stepping back. I won't be doing these webinars from you, for you guys anymore. So I'll be more like a full-time mom. So when I'm a full-time mom, I will also have a lot of free time when the baby's sleeping to do other things then that will be the time I will start my Telegram group chat for trading. Okay, at this current point of time, right after this webinar, I'm going to rush back to my office, uh, in my, uh, to my business to get something settled. But so right now at this period, I can't start the group chat. But if you want to add me now, in two to three months, I will be, or maybe four months even, I will start my group chat, my Telegram group chat, my first group chat, and I will focus a lot more on trading because I'll be stepping back from my businesses and other things okay so if you guys want to add me on telegram you can um in the meantime if you i i will be very busy if you try to like ask me about more about trading unfortunately at this current point of time the only time i can give you guys is this webinar if not then you have to wait a few months when i go full into trading and focusing on that okay uh, other than that, how to develop patience level, which keep us calm and sit in your position and hit either target or stop us. Okay, very good question, Shirish. A lot of prop people suffer from this, okay? This is trading psychology. So Shirish is asking, how do you have the patience to wait for price to either hit your target or stop us? Okay, this is my trick. I enter a pending order. So I tell, I tell the broker, I want to get in here. One, two, eight, three, two. Okay. I put a pending order. One, two, eight, three, two. I put my stop loss here. I put my take profit here. And then you know what I do? I go and live my life. I don't look at the trade again. Once I put my 
pending order, I do not go back into my MT4 trading account. I do not go back onto the chart. I make my decision and I stick with my decision. The next time I come back is tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow I will know if, if I got into the trade because what if price pulls back and it doesn't hit my entry? I was correct, but it doesn't hit my entry. Okay, that's one thing. What if price doesn't hit my entry? So tomorrow I will review how can I do better in terms of my entry. If it hits my stop loss, I will review how come it hit my stop loss. What did I do wrong? What did I see wrong? Why was my analysis wrong and why did it hit my entry? Number three, if it hits my take profit, I will also see, okay, what did I do right? This is something I want to do again the next time. Okay, so did you do a specific course to learn trade or where did you learn this from? Okay, uh, hi, jo uh, Johan. I was one of those people who joined those crazy expensive trading courses because I didn't know they were free courses and free information online. <laughs> okay, so I joined one of those courses where you have to pay a few thousand dollars just to learn a very simple indicator. I'm sure you guys have seen this YouTube video where you're like, oh, I can, pro uh, if you join my course, you can learn about financial freedom. I'll teach you financial freedom from trading or blah, blah, blah. I joined one of the, actually, I didn't join one. Okay, I joined a few of those courses where I paid a few thousand dollars. And uh, yes. That's how I got into trading. But you guys are so lucky because there's so many free resources now. This webinar brought to you by Tignal is free. You guys can go on YouTube. You can, go, you can Google. You can um, Telegram. There's so many resources for you to learn trading. There's no need for you to pay for any courses. Please send your Telegram. I don't have the past recording. Again, it's on Tignal's YouTube. It's on Tignal's YouTube. Okay, cool. So that's that with answering most of your questions. I am going to go into the next chart, which is USDJPY requested by Jamilu. Okay, cool. Let's see, Jamilu, what do we have today? USDJPY. Oh, take note. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I wasn't done with NASDAQ, okay? This is not how you do analysis, okay? I don't want, because this is recorded, I don't want this to be recorded. After I'm done with my analysis, I include indicators. The indicators will tell me my likelihood of price hitting my target. Okay, so I pull out the Ichimoku. Ichimoku is agreeing that price is going up. Okay. Okay, cool, Richard. Just give me a sec. Um, I'm going to quickly just spend two minutes on this. Ichimoku is agreeing, so I'm makes me confident that price is going up. Let's look at RSI. Let's look at stochastics. Let's look at DMI, and then we can go back into um, USD JPY. Okay, the last one I want to look at is DMI. Okay, what am I looking for when I pull out DMI? I want price to show me that it's going up. It is showing me that it's going up and it's showing me that the trend is strong. Okay, so what DMI is telling me is that number one, price is going up. Second thing is telling me that the uptrend is very strong. That means there is a possibility price will not pull back. There's a possibility from here, price just continues to go up. Okay, that being said, we now have two options. The first option is if price pulls back to this support area, we're going to get in here for a buy. If it does not pull back and it breaks out here, it breaks out here, you can get in for a buy at the breakout as well because the direction is that it is going up and the trend for the uptrend is strong. Okay, so if it breaks, you wait for the pullback and then you can get in and your next take profit area is here. Okay? This is your other option. So I think I'll say I'm 80%, 90% confident it's going up. It's just where do you get in for the buy? Okay, um, stochastics, I really like it. Stochastics is showing that 
price has reached a resistance. If price has reached a resistance, it means that it's time to pull back. Okay, so there's a chance it will pull back. If it pulls back, we get in here at the support for the buy. Okay, same for RSI. RSI is showing the same thing. It's time to pull back. Okay, so I think NASDAQ, I'm more confident of price going up. Okay, we're going to go to USD JPY. Let's see what we've got here, Richard and Jamilu. USD JPY. Okay, very strong uptrend. Very strong uptrend followed by a pullback. Is it now going to continue up or is it now doing a pullback and then a continuation down? Okay, let's find out. I don't see a very clear downtrend or uptrend. I do see lower lows. Okay, lower lows. Uh, there is a possibility it's on a downtrend. Just looking at this, I'm not very confident, but I'm more biased. Okay, so the thing about trading is there's never ever 100%. Okay, it's just... What is your biasness? My biasness is current point of time. I do see bearishness. Okay, I do see bearishness. Okay, let's just highlight some support and resistance. Just because it's bearish on the big time frame doesn't mean it's bearish on the small time frame. So let's just see where price is gonna go in the short term. Okay, so. Four hours. Hmm. I'm going to have to use indicators for this because trend is not very clear to me. Like one look, I don't see a very, very clear trend. Okay, so other than a trend line breakout, I don't really see a very clear trend. Okay, this trend line breakout, if anything, is signaling bullishness. Okay, because price was moving in a very nice downtrend. And then here it broke, suggesting, not 100%, but suggesting that there is a chance. There is a chance that bullishness or an uptrend has started. Okay, there is a chance that bullishness or uptrend has started, okay? So let's, actually I do see an uptrend. I do see an uptrend actually. I was hoping to see a downtrend because um, Richard said that he's short. Okay, this one thing to consider, price is moving in an uptrend, but it could just be a pullback. It could just be a pullback. Let me see what I, what's the likelihood of it just being a pullback or is it, is this a pullback or is this a trend reversal? If it's a trend reversal, means price is going to continue going up. If it's a pullback, means it's just pulling back and then eventually it'll continue going down. Okay, it's reaching the 50%. Uh, I do see a bit of resistance here not a very strong one but i do see a little bit of resistance here okay i do see some resistance there's a chance it might just resist from here and turn back from here uh richard if you don't mind can you let me know where did you shot from Like what was your entry for the short? If you don't mind sharing. That's my man. I'm getting to listen about it and getting not getting proper and trustworthy source to learn it. Uh, I've heard about this smart money management. 
a lot of times I've never really looked into it because I feel like whatever I'm doing right now has been working quite well for me. So therefore, there's, there's, uh, has not been a need for me to... Okay, if you shot that from here, then yeah, it looks like a good short. It looks like... Okay, um, I would say a take profit. Be, this is my take. I'm only showing my take profit, okay? Whether you want to follow, it's up to you. Okay, if if I were to short this, this is my this this would be my trade. Why? Because one thing I don't like is this trend line breakout. Okay, it's giving me like it's giving me like uptrend vibes. Okay, it's telling me like oh, there's a possibility price going up. Okay, but of course we are on the four hours. I'm sure if we go down to the to the to the one hour, the uptrend is even stronger. Okay, so definitely for me, if anything. Take profit will be here. If I was in a short, my take profit will be here. Stop loss will be here. Or even your stop loss, you can already move it into your... Heikan Aishi talks about this. Uh, Heikan Aishi is good. Hey, you can use Heikan Aishi. You can already move your stop loss to entry, to be honest. You move your stop loss to entry and now you have a risk retreat. But that's entirely up to you if you want to do that. Okay. Uh, I'm all about risk management, so I would definitely move it. Okay, but take note, anytime you move entry to stop loss, there's a chance you get stopped out at entry. So even though you are correct, there's a chance you get stopped out at entry. Okay, so my I'm a little bit more biased at price going up rather than down. I do see a resistance here, so there is a possibility of price reversing from here. So there is a possibility of slight pullback Okay, a very, very slight pullback from here to here. On top of that, I do see a Nike tick strategy, uh, tick here. Give me a sec. What is it? Two seven. Is it two seven? One two seven. Okay, this area, I would definitely consider for a sell. Just a very short one. Just a very, 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 very short sell. Yep, exactly to this area. Exactly to this zone here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see what the indicators are saying. Uh, Jimoku showing uptrend. Okay, take note, right? I do see a short sell here, but my overall bias is actually a buy. Okay? If anything, I will enter here for a buy. If anything, I will enter here for a buy. Okay? I usually don't enter for a sell. I usually don't go against trend, but you can go against trend and still make profit, obviously. I just think it's dangerous because... If price is pushing you up and you're going for you're going for a sell, you're going against momentum. Okay, nice. Okay, so I guess you are in a good trade. I think the potential for this will be this area. Uh, like this will be a safe, healthy area to get out of. Number one, Ichimoku is showing a buy. I want to see if RSI is showing any kind of like diversions. Or or, um, let me see if I see anything at all. Okay, RSI, definitely showing uptrend already. No bearish divergence, so I don't see price. I don't think, okay, so the thing, the two things I cons. I am asking myself right now is number one, is this a pullback? A pullback meaning that it pulls back to here and then it continues with a downtrend or is this a trend reversal completely? A trend reversal meaning that it's just going up already. Okay, so from here, it can either choose to pull back or it can just continue up. Right now, I have more signs pointing that it is a trend reversal. Okay, I have more signs... RSI is showing that it's bullish. 
DMI is showing there's a strong uptrend. Okay, everything is showing to me that it is going up. So at this current point of time, there's no reason for me to think that it'll go any lower than this take profit area. I, at this current point of time, I don't think it can reach this support. I don't think there's enough momentum to reach this support, but I do think it can pull back to this take profit area. So that's my take on USDJPY. So my take on USDJPY is it is definitely, I am, if I have to give my confidence level, I am 70, 80% confident it's going up. Okay. It's just that before price goes up, I think there's going to be a pullback to here first. Then from this area here, then it will continue up, okay? But that is just my analysis, okay? Please um, take my analysis with a pinch of salt because, of course, just like you, I'm just a trader. I have, I could be wrong also, okay? There's no 100% in trading. There's no 100% in anything in life. You can cross the streets and get hit by a car. Everything you do has risk, okay? So everything you do has risk. Right now, this is what I believe is going to happen, but there's a chance I'm wrong, okay? But um, so far, everything is pointing upwards, okay? Uh, Ichimoku is pointing up, DMI is pointing up, Stochastic is pointing up, RSI is pointing up, everything is just pointing up. How about the concept of Elliott Wave to apply this trend? Okay, I would definitely not be able to use Elliott Wave today to look get analysis. Elliott wave is a very time-consuming technical analysis. For me to use Elliott wave, I first need to start on a weekly time frame, maybe the monthly time frame. Go down to the weekly, go down to the daily, go down to the four hours before I can get you a scalping strategy. Uh, that will take me, in my own time, I will take a few hours to get an analysis with Elliott wave. Okay, there's no way I can, I personally don't know anyone who can get you an analysis for Elliott Wave in sh sh such a short time, unless they have already been observing this chart from before. But if you are first time on a chart, this I really doubt you can spend so little time. Well, my question, so for, if you check USDJP on the 30 minutes, let's see. Okay, so current candle might cover the distance of previous candle's shadow. Current candle is doing a doji, might cover. Hmm, there is quite a bit of strong bearishness here. Okay, so yes, I am still sticking with my analysis for now. Okay, uh, that's, a, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope you guys learned something new. If not, <laughs> If you didn't absorb anything at all, I hope you at least learn the importance of risk management. Okay, that's the key concept of improving my own trading is when I finally decided to change my risk management and my trading psychology. After that, I became a way, way, way better trader. Okay, so I'll catch you guys again next week. The next time we I do this webinars for you guys is on uh, Monday. For those who've added me in Telegram, I do see a lot of you saying hi. Hi, just attended your trading. Hi, hi, I'm or I'm in your webinar. Hi, guys. Hi, hi. Okay, okay. There's like seven of you who just added me on Telegram. Uh, I will eventually add all of you into a group chat. Okay, just that when I'm a little bit more free. Sorry, guys. After this, I have to rush to my office. Okay. Um, I'll catch you guys again next week. In the meantime, have a good trading week. I hope to guys hope to see you guys next week. How to join your Telegram. You guys can add me in Telegram. I was saying in the earlier of the webinar, um, you guys can add me. If you add me now and you, you contact me, maybe I'll be very slow with my replies. But later on in two to three months or four months even, I'll be quite free because I am stepping back from my businesses. I'm stepping back from these webinars. I'm stepping back from a lot of things and I'll have a lot of time to talk to you guys on Telegram. I'll have a lot of time to create a group chat and focus on trading only. Okay, so in until then, you can just add me first. You can ask me questions, whatever. When I have time, I will reply you. Okay, if I don't have time, please understand. <laughs> You'll be lack of sleep after this. Uh, uh, yes, I'm trying to manage. <laughs> I'm trying to prepare everything before my baby comes. So, 
until then, until I become a, a full-time stay-at-home person, um, I will, yeah, I'll try my best to reply to you guys. Okay, so catch you guys next week. Thanks for joining our webinar. See you guys. Thanks. Okay, I see a message from Richard already. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.